See, night and day, night and day. Good morning, good morning, my Gator. So, this morning, I'm getting ready to do the nails and do the feet. No polish on them. That red, red, blues, and greens tend to stain. So, I got to get that off. But you guys are going to watch me do my, not watch me do my petty, but we're going to have a chat while I do my hands and nails. And then I'm going to show you the after results. But before that, I was uh, doing the halfway bed. That's what we're doing today. Because Thomas him not in the mood to make this up so we're going to do the halfway makeup so i'm gonna show that to you and then we're gonna get into doing a girl's chat as i do my mani and petty now that that's done let me take this off i have oh i hit myself hard <laughs> i have a um a like nightgown moo moo type thing that i like to put on when i'm doing my nails because it makes me comfy and i i'm sitting on the floor literally i like to get on the floor and do my feet and everything right here so yeah Let's get into it. Let me put my mom on. She ready. She ready. She ready. Okay, let's get these nails done. And this is another satin cap. It don't look satin on the outside, but it is an inside. Let me show you. Yeah, so that's why you always see me with different caps on. Instead of scarves in the house or bonnets, I feel like these hold my hair down better. And these are more protective. I'll do another video on it another time. All right, girl, let's get our fingers and toes done now i've already did all the print the primping i just got to do a little filing and buffing um and i got to get this red off my toes so i've already did like the pedicure part so let's get into just basically making them look cute and coloring them um and i'm gonna try to edit this where it's not too long but long enough where we can chat and get things done so it's just for y'all to be here and spend time with me so this is very old. I've had this thing for so long. I got this on, I think, eBay. I used to be an eBay girl before I was a, before I was a, um, and I feel like this helps me get the color off my toes better than the, um, polish remover, especially when it's stained. So I just lightly go over my toe and get whatever I need to get off. Um, I am a dry petty girl. I love dry petty because you never tried it. Um, it actually gets more stuff off than when your toes are wet. And I've been doing that for some time. If you've been rock with me, you know I've been doing my own pedicures for years. Now, there have been times where I treated myself or someone's treated me. Most of the time, it's somebody treating me um, to getting one. Like, oh, you know, just treat yourself. Don't worry about doing it yourself. But it just seems like they just don't get it right and they don't do it like I like it. I don't like my toes cut too extra short. I don't like them when they go too deep into my toes. And I'm gonna show you the difference between this toe once I get all this red out. Let me show you this red first. This red like all in my pinky toe and just, ugh, girl. Don't judge me. They just, they dusty right now. But you see how the red gets all in there? I gotta clip them. My pinky toe be growing so long. So I'm gonna get this file and get all in there and get all this stuff off. Let me show you. See how that pink just goes away? It's so hard, this tripod is in the way. I'm gonna try it again. Let me do it and then I'll just show it. See how it goes. This camera angle sucks. See how the pink go away from the toe? Gotta get in here and do this thing. And I don't do it, I do it lightly because these are my natural toenails and I do not want them thin or breaking because of that. So I get most of it off like that. And we are going to file and clip and get these bad boys together, especially this. It'd be all around my big toe and stuff. That's what I'm doing. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and keep on. Do you guys do your pedicures? Do you trust other people? Man, I got a fungus in um, New York. Was it New York? Yeah, from letting somebody do my toes. And I was like, yeah, no. Mm -mm. I remember that. And I was like trying to figure out what it was, looking it up. It was like a black thing on my toenails. I said, no, ma'am. No, ma'am, no, sir. We're not doing that. We are not doing that. And so I just was like, you know what? I'm going to stick to doing stuff myself. It's the same for me with hair. It's like I'd be wanting certain styles and stuff that I can't do in my own head. But... I don't trust people and certain people's energy in my head. 
just the same way like for my feet my feet touches the ground and your feet absorb a lot you know what i'm saying they absorb a lot and you know we're not we're not doing that we're definitely not doing that so yeah oh, let me get my clippers see that pink that red still in there that red still be in there and it's still in some of the toenails oh, see it's still sitting in some of the toenails like I really gotta get in there and file it out yeah especially this one right here this one need a good filing and buffing these are my toes guys when y'all see my toenails these are my toes but you can see the difference because this one still got a lot of red you see that red see all that red we're gonna get all this out cut the cuticles and all that good stuff yeah but i don't trust nobody and when it comes to you know doing my feet and stuff and it's like people don't even they don't have any pride and work and in, in, in how they treat people like they did back in the day it was like word of mouth was the thing you know when there wasn't no social media and you know the way you got more people was doing right by people and it's like now people just, I hope y'all can hear me. Now people just feel like they entitled to, for you to kiss their butt. You know, for you to, for them to do the work for you or whatever the case may be. And they just don't care no more. Like, because it's like about content. It's like even the ones who, they do hair or do stuff, not all, but there's ones who do it. So they get paid for doing just the content. It ain't even about the clients anymore. It's just like creating some form of content to get money because of what they're doing, right? Let me cut this down. And so, it's not even about the service anymore. It's about creating content. And if it's going to be dramafied and they got to, you know, expose their clients or expose, you know, because I know some clients and some people too do try to get over when they can't afford something. I am in an awkward position <laughs> when they can't afford something. Um, you know, people try to get over it. Like, if you can't afford something, leave people alone and stop trying to get their services. You can't afford it. Wait till you can't afford it, you know, till you're able to afford it. Um, I do, I do agree with that. But just wash your hair before you come and make sure it's combed out. And that's the purpose of you being a stylist. Like, it ain't even a stylist anymore. It's not even a hairdresser anymore. It's just a... Do the quick style for you and that's just it all that other stuff we ain't trying to do so yeah i'm about to file these down i'll be back one thing i don't believe in if your polish is cracking or chipping which i never had that problem ever since i've been i've been doing my feet oh my gosh for years i've always been into beauty and and and, and you know self-care and doing those things people came to me for those if you've been rocking with me you would have seen on instagram several years ago many women coming to get pedicures and all that good stuff from me this is just some of my stuff but i have all types of stuff you even know rizzy my daughter um was doing acrylic nails and um gel nails and all that stuff she see she been thinking about getting back into it she still got her mannequins and all the stuff some of the stuff probably need to be replaced because it's been in storage and stuff but other than that yeah I tell my daughters, don't you put nothing on your feet if you're not going to keep it up. Or don't put nothing on your hands if you can't keep it up. Like some people get that nail, their nails done by somebody fancy for the first time knowing they can't keep it up. So they leave the nails on forever and it's like an a inch space between the nail and, <laughs> and where you need to feel. It's just sad. If you can't keep something up, wear your natural toes. Wear your natural toes. I think it's the most disgusting thing and I'm sorry if this is you. It costs nothing to get some nail polish remover and remove the polish off your toes. Wear your natural toes. I would rather wear my natural toes than to walk around with polish that's tripped, cracked, and peeling. It takes nothing to, when you get in the shower, you got to wash your butt, right? Since you got to wash your butt, get you a Puma Stone or something and put it in the shower in the place where you know you're going to be washing your butt unless you ain't doing that. Um, and as you take a shower, let that be a part of your regimen to keep your feet soft and not looking all crusty. It's just that simple. So I filed them down. I am about to dehydrate them and moist well moist dehydrate them because that's the best way for my polish to stick really well. So I dehydrate my toes, my toe nails, um, with a dehydrator, just like putting on acrylic 
and it, it's similar you could use alcohol you could use acetone but i like to use just dehydrator and so now they're nice and powdery but all the stuff is off they're nice and powdery but all the stuff is off so i'm going to buff and then buff and dehydrate and then get to polishing and i'll show y'all that i'm gonna do those first and then i'm gonna do the nails one thing I will say is when I was doing the nails in another video, this stuff is really thin, so I had to put several coats to get it really thick like what you see. So, yeah. So the dehydrator, is basically something that allows the nail bed to be very dry there's no moisture or anything in it so that way that polish will stick very well because there's nothing that's going to stop the sticking or that adhering to the toenail or the nail so dehydrator is going to be your best friend done and i love this green look at it y'all look at this green uh, look at that green oh my gosh okay they ashy i'm not gonna lotion them till it dries so just 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 give me just you know bear with me that green is hitting oh i'm so ashy and look like i've been kicking flower but that green is hitting sorry it is hitting it is hitting on to the nail Toes are all done, fingers are all done. Let's look at them. Loving the color, guys. Literally loving the color. Loving, loving. Look at that. Tell me that's not cute. 